everything Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything 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 Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything everything Chris You. And for anyone who's still online, if you've got a question for Andre, fire them in now. I know, did you have a question for myself while we're online? Ask away. I'm just going to put my phone on charge real quick. Yeah, and did you have a question for myself while we're online? Yeah, tell me quickly like about your backstory. Like, did you who who like what what's the where was your love for basketball come in involved? I started my love came in. My brother kind of got me into basketball. Not kind of mm-hmm. did get me into basketball from a young age, young young age. And then yeah. I started out at Crystal Palace. No, yeah, he took me to Crystal Palace first. Then I went to a place called Crofton, and then Brixton where is when Brixton is Brixton is where it kind of changed for me because. I met a lot of players and Jimmy Rogers was very influential on my life. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. fast forward, I played in Leeds in Division 3 for a bit. Well, not heavily in Division 3. I played more like um, the... Ugh, what's the league called? Not local league. Um, Premier League. Yeah. Just below. And I played for Bradford Dragons Division 4. Okay. And I've known I've known a lot of people, so I've known Orlando for a long time. A lot of other people grew up with Justin Robinson, grew up mm-hmm. with Matthew. So I know a lot of people from Brixton, and I've got that connection. So that's my backstory. Been involved with a lot of tournaments, so I've helped out with the yeah, pro classic. You've been around basketball for a minute, then. So you, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been around it, and yeah, no, it's not it's met, had a great connection, great networking, and this was this fast forward has led me on to doing this, man. So I just thought, mm-hmm. oh, wait a minute, I know people. Not people want to know the sport, so why not start getting people to know the players? And that was my thing. Man. Exactly, it's true. It's good that you do this, man. It's kind of the marketing that you were saying that needs to be better. Yeah, definitely. This is man. one of those ways to do it. So definitely. And how marketing it is 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 a platform for you guys, man. So bang, it's your platform. Put you out there, get people to know you a lot more. So it's been good. And I learned a lot as well, because I've been learning a lot from Ashley Hamilton. I've been watching his Instagrams. He's been teaching yep. me a lot. Yep. About how he's, he, yeah, he's he's up to date with all that, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call him the sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. The, the, the sensei. I said, yes. you got a question here. <clears throat> Who's the best player you've played against? Kai. <laughs> uh, <laughs> best player I've played against? Probably Anthony Edwards. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's probably going to be like top three draft picks. Well, I guess supposed to be this year, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's when we played against Georgia University in the Maui <laughs> tournament last year. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's oh, legit. Okay. Yeah, he's like a small LeBron. Damn, damn. Yeah, he runs a beast as well. So, man, the 17th year. What when I went, is he gonna retire anytime soon? I don't know, bro. I heard he's, I think he's waiting for his son, Bronny, to get into the league. I think he wants to play with him, but he's gonna have to be, he's got a lot of time left before all that. Right, you don't look like he's slowing down at all. It looks like he's still, still no. Cleveland, bro, when he first got drafted, man. Jeez. Do you know what makes me mad, yeah? Like how these youngers are looking. Big now for a young age, like sixteen-year-olds, thirty-year-olds. <laughs> That's mad now. <clears throat> got got family and all sorts of kids in that. You're like, oh man, you sixteen? I don't know what they're eating. I don't know what they're eating. I like Zion Williamson, man. Like, how do you say, that dude is? I, nah, I've never seen anything like up that. There. Sat is mixed up there. He <laughs> lied about his age. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> I said he lied about his age, you know. <laughs> have to, have to love. Ah, uh, so man child, like, it, and then you got John Moran who looks skinny, but he's just playing like he's already been in the league for three years already. Like, yo, what? Honestly, though, have I got? Oh, oh there's another question. Yeah. Any advice to a 16 year old trying to make GB before turning 18? Yeah. <sighs> 
I'm trying to say, what would I tell myself? Um, the way that I, I can only speak from my experience, um, grind, facts, Moses. I think, yes, Moses. I think Moses is right. Like, yeah. Moses, you might as well come on and answer the questions, G. Um, yeah, and, yeah, and honestly, I think for me, it was the confidence. I think there's different levels of believing in yourself. Um, I think at a young age, especially me, like my confidence was like up and down, up and down each and every day. And I felt every emotion. But if you can consistently believe in yourself bigger than anyone on the outside could believe in you um that's what is going to carry you to a whole nother level like even to this day for me like i think every time i step on the court like any shot i take i already assume it's going in like whether yeah, yeah. we all think like oh it's not but like in my head like i'm the best player on that court and like it just brings a whole different level of confidence and everything like it's just weird but i think for you as a young un, i think keep working hard so but you need to put it into measurable goals don't just be like i want to make gb but like what does that look like like what are your strengths now okay cool you know that you can shoot or you might be a good right-handed driver now you have a good year year and a half to develop your left-handed layups or your reads when the second layer steps up or your jump shot or your quick release or your foot speed or your awareness on defense, like that's the things that you can start manifesting now for a year and a half's time. So don't just be like, I'm going to keep working on my shot when your shot's already good. Start adding other things. So when you come to that level, you can offer a lot more. Because it comes, all the other stuff come with it along the way, and it? it's more, mm. if you're already a good shooter, I don't need to work on it more. You've got to work on the other stuff to help shoot. I heard that. Exactly. <laughs> I heard that 100%. Hey, there's a couple man them in here now. You got I know. Shout you got out my mum. My mum and my mum and What's up, mum? We see M Donegal, which says Kevin Michelle say hi. That's my mum. Shout out, mum. How we doing, mum? <laughs> um, Lee, like I said, everyone go check out his music. He's popping off in Northampton right now. Okay, okay. Um, any other advice would you give to any uh, up and coming players, just in general, not just for yeah. GB, just in general? Um, in terms of like just staying focused, is there any other advice you would give? I think it's for me preparation. Um, I'm a big believer that in this whole lifetime we have, we each will get the spotlight put on us, and I think I like believe that. Like, that's my bread and butter. I know that the light is going to come and it's going to shine on me at some point. And it's a question of, are you ready for that moment or not? And I think, of, and what that basically means is that your opportunity is definitely going to come. Like, if you're doing everything out of love and passion, your opportunity will come. But then it's the question of, are you ready for that moment? So that, like, that question of a 16-year-old wanting to make under 18s, like, yeah. if you are really passionate about basketball and you really manifesting it in your head, your chance to show somebody that you, that could potentially you, you lead into to be on the under 18s team will come. And I think it's a question now of, are you ready for that moment? Are you going to utilize that moment or are you not going to yeah. do the work? So preparation is key for everything. I think that's the biggest thing for me. Um, Cause I'm not no talented basketball player. Like I never was talented. I'm not, super tall, I'm not like windmilling on people, I'm not like, yeah. I haven't got a crazy feel for the game, like everything for me is literally, and Moses can vouch for me, because me and Moses are very alike in this aspect, we've kind of always been the underdogs that kind of just had to chip away um, preparation is everything preparation, preparation, preparation and that's a lot of self-reflection and holding yourself accountable, but like deeper inside than just everything else like I'm an emotional person so I had to challenge myself each and every game and I prepare myself to be like hey Dre you're gonna get frustrated at some point you're gonna miss some shots at some point you're gonna be really excited at some point but you need to stay level-headed and that's like 
I would always prepare myself for every moment. So when it came, it's like I've already been in it in my head, you know? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So that's probably the biggest thing. I like that. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> and also, everyone, remember to add Andre. Is it Andre underscore? Is it Andre Arasol? It's just Andre Arasol. Yeah, just Andre, Andre Arasol. One R, double S. Yeah, myself, everything Chris underscore 2020. Add me yeah, as well. Make sure you go follow him. But yeah, man, yeah, this has been mad. This is sick. I'm, I love that you're doing this, though, for real. I think it's really. It Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Make sure you Appreciate keep smashing it out during lockdown as well, because people are going to uh, be doing nothing. Uh, they're, all on new, they're going on YouTube, so every I'm, I'm releasing two episodes a week, so Wednesday mm -hmm. and Saturday. So okay, there's more cool. episodes coming out. Yeah, so, yeah I'm going to keep big. pushing them out, man. And Andre, man, thank you for coming on, man. And everyone yeah. else who joined us, thanks, man. And yeah, man, have a good one. And you, yeah, bro. Stay in touch, man. Appreciate yes, it, man. Bro. Thanks, man. Peace cool. out, man. Everything, everything, everything Chris, everything Chris, everything Chris, everything, everything Chris. Uh -huh.